73 for 6 becomes 73 for 7 as the Australians collapse. Benno has a go. In 1956, Jim Laker beat the Aussies at Old Trafford almost single-handedly. He returned the best figures of all time for a bowler. 9 for 37 in the first innings and 10 for 53 in the second. A record for all first-class cricket, let alone tests. Ron Archer, stumped by Evans. And then Maddox is bowled Laker. Eighty-four for nine, with Laker bowling himself into cricket history. And he makes sure of it by bowling Ian Johnson, and so takes nine wickets for 37 runs. Something no Englishman has ever done before against Australia. And as Australia follow on, Laker is at it again. Victim number six is Archer, caught Oakman, bold Laker. Oakman. All this time, McDonald is batting well. But when he's hit 89, he too becomes bold Laker. Seven wickets so far to Laker, and now it's Benno, bold Laker. Be bold him. 198 for eight, and all eight bold Laker. And 20 minutes later, Linville two falls to the leg trap, bold Laker. He's he caught him, is he? Is he out? No. Yes, he's out, he's given out, waiting for the appeal. Can Laker get all 10? That's the question everyone's asking as he bowls to Maddox. It, he's out. 10 wickets to Laker. And it's Australia, bold Laker. He's taken all 10 Australian wickets, a feat never done before in any test match anywhere. It's the sporting performance of the year.